हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आफ्टर स्टडिंग पॉलिन्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी फार्माकोलॉजी ऑफ नेक्स्ट क्लास ऑफ एंटी फंगल ड्रग्स नेमली इकाइनो कैंडेंस नो अनलाइक पॉलिन्स दैट टारगेट फंगल सेल मेम्ब्रेन इकाइनो कैंडेंस टारगेट फंगल सेल वॉल नाउ लुक एट दिस फिगर नाउ एवरी फंगल सेल इज सराउंडेड बाय अ सेल मेम्ब्रेन सेल मेम्ब्रेन इज इन टर्न covered by a cell wall now this is a composition of fungal cell wall so every fungal cell is covered by an outer layer of fungal cell wall now fungal cell wall is composed of three main components uh, and these components are chitin then uh, glucan uh, it is uh, beta 1 3 glucan and uh, glycoproteins now these nanoproteins are the glycoproteins now this cell wall is absent in a human cell now chitin and beta 1 3 glucan these are cross linked as you can see here in the figure now this cross linking provides strength and integrity to the fungal cell wall now echino candens are the anti fungal drugs that target a uh, fungal cell wall now echinocandines are fungicidal against uh, candidial fungal infections and these are fungistatic against uh, aspergillus uh, fungal infections so echinocandines kill candida while they inhibit the growth of aspergillus now three drugs are included in this class namely caspofungin nicafungin and anidulafungin Uh, now let's uh, discuss uh, mechanism of action of echinocandens now as already discussed uh, beta 1 3 glucan is a critical very important component of fungal cell wall now echinocandens inhibit fungal enzyme beta 1 3 glucan synthase which is required for the synthesis of glucan so inhibition of this enzyme inhibits synthesis of beta 1 3 glucan so this weakens the fungal cell wall fungal cell wall loses its strength and this reduces resistance of fungal cell wall against the osmotic forces so this causes fungal cell death so uh, this is the mechanism of action of echinocandens now caspofungin is a prototype drug of uh, echinocandens so let's uh, discuss the pharmacology of uh, caspofungin uh, now let's first study important uh, pharmacokinetic features of caspofungin now very important you must remember that caspofungin is not absorbed orally and it is given by slow iv infusion this point is very important then it is distributed in the tissues but it does not reach the cerebrospinal fluid then caspofungin is uh, extensively metabolized and metabolites are excreted in the urine and feces plasma half life of caspofungin is 10 hours so very important that it is uh, given by slow iv infusion now uses uh, first use of uh, caspofungin is a treatment of deep and invasive candidiasis so first Uh, we should know what is deep and invasive candidiasis this is also termed as systemic candidiasis where candida causes serious infections affecting internal organs of the body like heart brain eyes bones etc now caspofungin is very effective and echinocandens are the main drugs that are used for the treatment of deep and invasive candidiasis then uh, um, second uh, it is very effective in the treatment of uh, esophageal candidiasis esophageal candidiasis is a candidial infection in the esophagus now here you should know that the drug of choice is the fluconazole fluconazole is a triazole and the response of caspofungin is uh, comparable to that of the uh, fluconazole and another important point uh, that uh, caspofungin is uh, also effective against candidial infections that are resistant to triazoles uh, for example that are resistant to fluconazole or any other triazole then uh, it is also used as a salvage therapy for non responsive invasive aspergillosis 
So it is also effective in the treatment of invasive aspergillosis. Now here you should know that uh, uh, the choice of drug for the treatment of invasive aspergillosis is voriconazole. So if the aspergillosis does not uh, respond to voriconazole, then then caspofungin uh, are found to be useful. Then uh, because of the good tolerability of uh, caspofungin, it is uh, increasingly used uh, in the treatment of uh, uh, candidiasis in febrile uh, neutropenic patients. That means uh, in those patients who suffer from neutropenia, uh, patients who are immunocompromised, immunity of the body is low and uh, uh, they are having fever, uh, and that is not responding to antibacterial antibiotics, then in that case, the candidial infection in these patients is uh, can be treated with the caspofungin. So, uh, these are the uses of uh, echinocandins and uh, the main primary use of echinocandins is in the treatment of uh, deep and invasive candidiasis also known as systemic candidiasis. Uh, now, adverse effects of caspofungin. Now, caspofungin has a relatively low incidence of uh, adverse effects uh, as uh, the target of uh, caspofungin is the fungal cell wall and fungal cell wall is found to be absent in human uh, cells. Now, IV infusion of caspofungin can cause acute febrile reaction uh, characterized by fever, shivering, uh, rashes, diarrhea etc. Then it can also cause phlebitis, phlebitis that is the inflammation of the injected wing. Then in addition to this uh, rashes, vomiting, uh, dyspnea that is difficulty in breathing, hypokalemia, uh, joint pain uh, can also occur. So this is a pharmacology of uh, echinocandins. Uh, now let's uh, uh, summarize echinocandins by answering few simple questions that can be asked in the university exam. Now here we are going to uh, discuss two types of uh, questions. One are the long answer questions, another are the short answer questions. Long answer questions are normally asked for 5 to 10 marks, whereas the short answer questions are usually asked for 1 to 2 marks. Now in the long answer questions, you can be asked discuss pharmacology of caspofungin. Another way of asking the same question is uh, write a short note on caspofungin. So um, it's very easy to answer. Uh, like first you will talk about the class. So it belongs to the class antifungal class of uh, echinocandins. Then you can explain the mechanism of action. No need to give the diagram. Just uh, you write the mechanism of action. Then uh, you can talk about the pharmacokinetic kinetics. Now very important uh, thing uh, you must remember uh, while answering the pharmacokinetics is this that it is given by uh, slow IV infusion. That is very important. Then you can discuss the uses. Now in uses. Uh, one very important use uh, you need not forget that uh, uh, caspofungin is very effective in the treatment of deep and um, invasive uh, candidiasis or it's very effective in the treatment of uh, systemic candidiasis. Then you can talk about the adverse effects. So this is how you will answer uh, these two questions. Then uh, short answer questions. Uh, what class of drug is echinocandins? Uh, we know echinocandins uh, are the antifungal drugs. Then uh, name few echinocandins. This again we have uh, studied caspofungin, mecafungin, anidula fungin. Then what is the target of echinocandins? The target is the uh, fungal cell wall. So the answer is the fungal cell wall. How are echinocandins administered? Echinocandins are given by the slow IV infusion. Then what are the main clinical uses of echinocandins. Now it again depends upon the, the answer depends upon the question. If the question is for one mark, uh, you need to give uh, only the uh, very important clinical use of echinocandin. If it is for two marks, you can answer or you can write um, all the uses of echinocandins. So the primary use of uh, echinocandins is this, that echinocandins are widely used for the treatment of invasive candidiasis that is a systemic candidiasis and specifically especially in critically ill and neutropenic patients. So 
Now, the main uh, clinical use of echinocandins is in the treatment of deep and invasive candidiasis, also known as a systemic candidiasis. So, this is all about echinocandins. Uh, now, very important, uh, uh, you must remember that the information given in this video is meant only for the academic informative purpose. For the treatment of fungal infections or for the use of echinocandins, you must consult your physician. And if you find the video useful, kindly like, subscribe and share this video. Thanks for watching this video.